The film starts by showing the whole world, after which America was shown where the sun was rising. It means like a normal day, today also started, and now we see a family living in America. There was a head of the family, his wife Amanda, and two children. The man had a good nature, and he used to be less angry, but his wife Amanda was very angry. She didn't people doubted everyone, also she was ill-tempered. Both husband and wife used to work. Their daughter was very innocent. She was very fond of watching seasons, while their son was a little mischievous. As soon as Amanda's husband woke up in the morning, Amanda's mood was very good today, she tells her husband, that I want to go to enjoy vacations. That's why I have booked a house for us on the island. Now her husband could not refuse, he agreed. All of them got ready and after a while, left to go to the island. They were sitting in the car, enjoying themselves, and were very happy. After traveling for a few hours, they reached the house, which Amanda had booked. The house was very grand. Everyone liked it, and the children started bathing in the pool. Her husband was busy keeping the luggage, while Amanda goes to the market to buy food and drink. She was very happy after buying all the stuff. When she was putting the luggage in the car, she sees another man. He was keeping a lot of food and drink in the car. This was a lot of food for the whole family. It felt like the world was going to end, and he was preparing for it. Now this thing seemed strange to Amanda, but she did not say anything to him and left from there. After coming home, this family got ready and went to the beach. They were sitting there and enjoying themselves. Where they saw a very big ship, which was very far from them in the sea. They think that it will change its way, but after two hours that ship remained in the same place. But now, it is further ahead. They felt strange, but slowly the ship came closer. They got scared, but, and understood, that there was something wrong. That's why Amanda's husband tells everyone to run away from there. Everyone started running here and there. And there was a commotion in a while on the beach. The ship did not stop yet, it came out of the sea. Then it stops on the beach. It felt like no one was controlling it. This situation was very strange. In a short time, the whole beach was evacuated. A guard told them that this happened. Because, something is wrong with the system. This happened not only with this ship, but also with many other ships. This family went straight home. Then it was found that there was no internet, and there was no channel on TV. They could not order online food for themselves. So whatever was there, they ate and lived. At night the children slept, while Amanda and her husband were drinking downstairs, where suddenly a knock on their door. They were shocked. Who could it be? When they opened the door, there was a man named Scott and his daughter. Both husband and wife were very surprised, because it was very strange for a stranger to come to their house. Scott tells Amanda, Madam, this house is mine. You talk to me only online, but Amanda was doubting, because they did not talk on the call. Scott says, Can we come inside? On which Amanda's husband took them inside the house. Scott tells them that we live in the city, but suddenly power has gone there. Darkness has spread everywhere. I want to tell you that I know you have come here for vacation. You have given me money, so we are not asking you to go. We just want to stay here, we will not disturb you. We will sleep in the basement. I will even give you money. And he returns their $1,000. Amanda's husband didn't doubt them, he agreed, that they can stay here. But Amanda was not the one to agree. She says to them, I cannot allow you to stay here, because it is a problem for me to stay with strangers. But when both husband and wife went to talk alone, Amanda says that I doubt them. They have come here with the wrong intentions. Her husband says that they are in trouble and we should help them. I don't think they will hurt us. Let's do one thing. I will talk to them for the last time. If I find any problem, I will tell them to leave. So they start talking to them again. Scott talks to them very nicely. It doesn't look like a dangerous person, but he was a little scared from inside. When they were convinced, Amanda agrees. Then Scott's daughter turns on the TV. Emergency broadcast was written everywhere. It was clear that Scott was telling the truth. That power was gone, no internet was coming, and no channel was turning on. They were sure that there was something wrong. All the harsh situations were putting them in trouble. Scott was a government officer. That's why he was doubtful about the situation. That's why the problem could be seen on his face. The next morning, Amanda's daughter says, I want to watch the next episode, there is no internet. Do something, now when Amanda checked her phone, there was some emergency news. As soon as she shows it to her husband, it disappears. Her husband says that someone has hacked the whole system. But Amanda has only one worry. That there are two strangers in our house. Amanda's husband says that I am going out. 
Maybe someone can tell us what's going on. After his departure, Scott and his daughter woke up. When they came out, Amanda tells him that. There was an emergency notice on my phone. Scott was shocked to hear this. Amanda gets worried and asks if the situation getting out of control. Scott smiles and says, no. I hope everything will be fine soon. Later, he tells them that many years ago same circumstances happened. That was due to a virus. That was made by two boys. And I think whatever is going on, this is not a big problem. There must be a solution to this. Seeing Scott, it was quite clear that he was just relaxing them. Because he doesn't want this family and his daughter to be worried. Seeing the situation, it was quite clear that there must be a big problem. Scott's wife was about to go somewhere by plane. That's why Scott and his daughter were worried. Because no system was working so they were quite scared. When Amanda's daughter was alone outside, some deer came there. That came in hundreds of numbers and stood there. This was a quite strange thing. Because animals never behave like this. Scott goes to his neighbor's house to help. But the luggage was scattered. And there was no one in the house. When Amanda's husband was on the way, the GPS stopped working. That is why he forgot the way. Suddenly, a nervous lady comes to his car. She cries and asks for help and says that, I have forgotten the way to my home for two days. I have to call someone, please help me. But she was so scared that Amanda's husband also got worried and leaves without helping her. When he went a little further, he heard the plane. When he looked back behind him, the plane was throwing something red. Amanda's husband got scared and started driving the car. But when the plane got closer, he found out that the red colored thing was red paper, on which something was written in Persian. Scott knew that his friend had a satellite phone. That's why he went inside and took the phone. With the hope that it might work, Amanda's children were unaware of this all and went to the jungle. They found a cabin where they both went, but there was no one here. Amanda's daughter told her brother about the deer, but he did not believe her. Rather, he started telling her a scary story to make her afraid. Later, they came out from there. Scott was trying to run the satellite phone, but it was not working. Because a few days ago, we were shown in the sky that the American satellite has changed its direction. That's why Scott's satellite phone was not working. After that, he went to a beach. He saw that a plane was destroyed there. There were dead bodies everywhere. It was a horrible scene because no one was left alive. Because no one was injured only there were dead bodies. He sees another plane is coming this way. Scott understands that it will be destroyed here. So he started running away from here to save his life. The plane came to the beach and got destroyed. By then Scott had gone inside the house. But because of the crash, a big wave of water hit the house. And Scott got wet he got scared after seeing the situation. Because he was sure that the situation was out of control. He did not tell his daughter that he saw the plane crash. But he told her that he fell in the pool and the clothes got wet. He sent his daughter to take new clothes. He told Amanda the whole situation. That the satellite phone stopped working. This is very surprising. Because even if everything was shut down, the satellite phone would not shut down. But Amanda did not believe him. So he told her that he saw a plane getting destroyed. The children were still outside the house. They suddenly heard a loud sound that was so high and strange that they had to put their hands on their ears. Amanda was worried about the children. So she went to the jungle looking for them. She found the children whom she brought home. Everyone was fine, but Amanda's husband did not come back, because of which they were worried. Amanda's son said, I do not know how that voice was. I did not close my ears properly. That is why I'm feeling strange now. After sending the children to their rooms, Amanda asked Scott, Tell me what that thing was what sound you've heard. I know that you know about this. Scott says that it was not the sound of a plane or a bomb. According to me, it was a sound wave weapon. These people get very worried. Amanda says, I am worried about my husband. I don't know where he is. After which she tells him that. I saw a man in the market two days ago. He was keeping a lot of food and water in his car. According to me, he knew that all this was going to happen. That's why he was preparing for this all. Hearing this, Scott says that he is my friend. He already knows about all this. So he gets ready to face all this. At that time, Amanda's husband came, who was very scared. He gives them a red paper and tells them that a plane was throwing it. Amanda's son recognized a word written here because he had seen this word in a game. It meant the death of America. He couldn't understand the rest of anything. No doubt that someone had attacked here to destroy America. I do not know who did this. This family was very scared. So in order to escape, Amanda and her husband decided to go to the city with their children. 
but Scott tells them not to go, because the situation in the city would be very bad. You stay here, this place is completely safe for you. They do not listen to Scott. They go after sitting in their car. Coming on a road, they saw a lot of cars standing there, because suddenly the cars got out of control and collided with each other. So the way to go ahead was blocked by the cars. The reason for all this to happen with the cars was the malfunction in the system. Then another car started coming from behind. So Amanda quickly comes in her car and sits. She quickly puts the car aside. In this way, they had a narrow escape. As there was no other way, they came to Scott's house. Amanda's husband and Scott's daughter sit together and talk. Scott tells Amanda that one of his friends works on big projects. So he is very rich. He already knew about the situation. Because of this, he had made all of this preparation. So he made a big house to face the situation, which had a lot of facilities. After talking a little more to fix their mood, they play music and dance. Amanda's husband and Scott's daughter heard a strange voice. When they went to check, there were a lot of flamingos, which is a kind of bird. Happening this suddenly was also very strange. Now again the same painful voice started coming. They again put their hands on their ears and sit by holding their heads. But this voice was so strong that some things in the house also broke. After a long time that voice stopped. But now all these people are very scared. So Amanda's family all sleep on the same bed, while Scott and his daughter. As soon as it was morning, this strange thing happened. Amanda's son's teeth started falling one by one, because of which Amanda and her husband were very scared. They were not able to understand what was going on here. The limits were crossed. They were not understanding what should we do. They can't even call anyone for help. Scott tells Amanda that. The man whom you saw buying a lot of things. That is my friend. He lives nearby. I believe he has a lot of things. We can get some medicine from him. Which we will give to your son. So now with Amanda's son. Her dad and Scott go to that friend's house. When they reached there, her friend was inside the house. He had a gun in his hand, he says. Park the car at a distance, we will talk later. Scott was surprised at this behavior of his, because they used to be friends before, but now his friend had completely changed. It seems as if to survive, a war has started between humans. Scott asks him for the help. Amanda's husband started telling him that something strange is happening with my son. He is vomiting and his teeth are also falling. Please do something about this. Scott's friend says that falling teeth is not a big deal. This has happened with many other people. The loud voice that is heard again and again directly affects the mind. It must have happened because of it. So I can't help you in this regard. Now, go from here. Scott was quite scared and asked why are you talking like this? You know we are friends, he replied. All that has become old. Everything has changed. We have been attacked. A war has started here and I will do whatever I feel is right. I want to save my family and you save yours. So tell me what should I do? Scott got angry at this and both had an argument, which increased a lot that they pointed guns at each other. But Amanda's husband came in between them and told them. Then he started begging Scott's friend. Please help us if you were in my place. What would you do? I would have helped you. I am ready to give you money. Scott's friend says that when the world won't last and the government will not be there, no law will be there. Then what will this money do? And now, here he helps them. He gives them medicine for Amanda's son. And he also said that, this work is of the Koreans or the Chinese, or it can also be of Iran or some other enemy country. Because America has made so many enemies in so many years, who are all standing against America after being united. But no one had the right information here. Then, after taking the medicine, Amanda's husband and Scott get into the car. Here Scott tells him that seeing all the circumstances, I had already understood that this is going to happen. Amanda's husband asks, what do you mean? On which he says that, some enemy country wants to destroy America. That's why it created such a situation. Whenever a country is to be destroyed, three moves game is played. The first move is that if any country's government wants to break up with the people, then separate them. That is their communication system and all kinds of communication channels. Like the internet in our country is gone. The channels are closed. So in a way, we have been cut off from our government. The second move is that there will be secret attacks. Whatever we have seen, the painful and loud voice we hear is a kind of secret attack from the enemy. They give wrong information about this so that everyone gets scared and they start doubting each other. Everyone will start making different stories. There will be an atmosphere of fear. Whatever has happened here 
People will not be able to protect themselves. There will be such an atmosphere of selfishness that the war will end to stay alive. This had also happened. People will doubt each other for having no reason and become enemies with each other. He says that if these two moves are successful, then the third move will work on its own. Amanda's husband asks, what is the third move? Then Scott tells that the whole world is at war because then the government would have broken. There would be no law. And this had also happened to a large extent. Their Amanda's daughter was not found for a long time. So Amanda and Scott's daughter go to find her. When she was in the jungle cabin, they started hearing voices from outside. And now, when Scott's daughter goes out and sees, there were a lot of deer standing there. Amanda came in front of them and started screaming, because of which all the deer run away. No, Amanda's attention went towards the city, where the bombs were exploding. There was a complete atmosphere of war. People's screams were heard, which meant that wherever they were, it was a safe place. Because there was no law in the city, people started killing, looting, and doing wrong things to each other. Because when the government and the law are broken, then all this happens. After which we see Amanda's daughter, who was in the house that Scott had also mentioned. That was his rich friend. The place was so safe that it was working as a safety bunker. Everything was there that was needed. Like there was a lot of food, power. Internet was also running here. Apart from this, there was a DVD and many CDs. And because her favorite season's last episode was left, so she sits there and starts watching it. In the end, it was found that a lot of countries had joined and attacked America because they wanted to completely wipe out America. Talking about the loud voice and the behavior of the deer, that was because of the secret attacks. And now Amanda's daughter had found a perfect place where this whole family can live in peace. With this, the movie ends here.